Hey everyone, Fez here from Crypto Setups. Today I'm going to go back to basics and I'm going to show you how to install and use a fantastic desktop wallet. This is really a beginner's series tutorial. I'm going to show you how you set up your first wallet and um, all the key things you need to be aware of. Um, this particular wallet, what I like about it though, is it, it enables you to interact with dApps if you choose you want to venture a little bit further in your crypto journey. So if you, it's not just about holding coins for you, it's more about, okay, I understand that part of these um, coins, Ethereum, um, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, there's applications being built on these chains and I want to interact and use these DeFi applications I hear so much about. Well, this is a great beginner's wallet to one, help you just store your coin and two, then start using the same wallet to interact um, via some built-in features that it, that it has. So let's go right back to basics and install, uh, set up your wallet, make sure you, you capture everything in the process. I'll show you how you can transfer funds, things like that. And then I'll show you how you can use the wallet to interact with these dApps. Okay, so the wallet is Infinity Wallet. Now, they have a bigger ecosystem of stuff happening here, but today I'm going to focus strictly on the wallet. This particular wallet is there's a desktop and currently there's a mobile version being built. Today's tutorial will be all around the desktop version. So, first thing I'm going to do is download. So, as you can see, I've downloaded the wallet and the next thing I want to do is install it. So, let's run through that process just like you would install any other application on your Mac or Windows. Excellent. Now I shall load it up. And here we are. So what's great, again, it'll prompt you, guide you through the whole process. So let's take a look. Digital wallet setup. Excellent. I know that. That's why I'm doing it. Um, it's private and secure. Great. Let's hit continue. So the first thing you want is the, to name it. So I'm just going to call it Showcase Wallet for the purpose of this tutorial. We'll create the account and it wants a password. Great. So now that will be your password you use to log in anytime you need to access the wallet. Okay. The next thing, as soon as you get here, it wants you to create a new wallet or you can restore my wallet. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new wallet. However, you could restore an existing wallet as well. So let's create a wallet. Oh, I meant showcase to be here, but that's okay. Showcase. And I'll skip this step for pin allocation. Now you have the option of creating a seed 12 or 24. This is up to you. But what, what this means is this is the what you need if say, for example, your computer dies and you've you've lost your wallet. As long as you have this seed phrase, you can uh, install a new wallet on another computer, put in the seed phrase and it will restore your wallet. So it doesn't require passwords or anything like that. It will just restore your wallet the way you had it and all the funds in it. So now that you know that, you know how important this is and how safe you need to keep it. So things that you would avoid is definitely no, do not keep this on online storage, cloud, anything like that. No, make sure you back it up. I wouldn't even keep it on your computer. I personally would back it up on a few USB sticks. Some people like to print it and keep it in a safe as well, but it is basically if anyone has these words, they have in, uh, complete access to whatever funds you have in this wallet. So with that in mind, make sure you keep it safe. Um, and obviously cloud storage, why? Because if a cloud account gets hacked and they access this document with, with these words in it, they could then um, take restore your wallet and run off with your money. So make sure you be safe. Enough about that. Let's click 12. And you can see that it's clearly telling you that if you lose the words, you will not be able to access the wallet. Yes, I understand that. Okay, great. So I'll just um, save this. Great. So I have screenshotted it and saved it. And, you know, this is the program will actually ask you to verify it after this step. So you need to make sure you back this up correctly. So see, it asks you that, have you written this down? Yes, I have. Okay, so now I need to get a part of the verification process, it wants you to verify which 
belongs where so I'll just do that now and there you go and let's hit create wallet excellent the wallet has been created so let's head on in and here you can see that uh, this is the wallet and uh, all the assets that it supports it has a list of assets now about the assets what you'll notice this wallet primarily supports is BTC Litecoin and uh, Ripple and then it supports these three chains which is Ethereum and any token that's on Ethereum um, Polygon and any token that's on Polygon and Binance Smart Chain and again any token that's on Binance Smart Chain so you can clearly see it has a list of active assets and a few wallet basics um, from an interface perspective you can see it, it's displaying the current price of each asset um, and my balance I've set up this wallet so I don't have anything um, in there if I wanted to receive funds in here I could click on the asset and then click the receive button and you can see it gives me the address now some people if this is the first time you're diving into crypto you may be watching this tutorial and thinking okay how do I buy now that I have my wallet set up traditionally you cannot buy with your traditional currency via these wallets you would have to first purchase it on an exchange which I have a separate tutorial for like Binance FTX some of those exchanges and then transfer those funds into this wallet and how you transfer for example if you've bought, bought some Bitcoin you would then take the address from this wallet like here and go to the exchange and send it from there to this address and within 10 minutes you'll notice it will arrive 10 to 15 minutes depending on which asset you're sending um, to your wallet so that's a quick overview now just some uh, basics you can see in my wallet now it only has some basic coins listed here but you can add more assets so remember what I said um, it it supports I made these comments it supports ethereum and all its assets so you can see over here um, some other tokens like Aave one inch and they have the ETH logo why because some of these um, tokens are deployed in other chains as well and they may have different variants that's uh, supported on um, Polygon and uh, Binance Smart Chain so it's got the symbols showing you this information um, and you can add these assets that are here now you're, you're probably thinking oh there's a particular token you want to add you know it's on Ethereum or you know it's on Binance Smart Chain but it's not giving you the option I will show you how to add that in a moment um, uh, where you can add any custom tokens associated to those three chains into the wallet so coming back down just going through the features that's a bit about my wallet and the swap the wallet actually has a internal exchange that you can swap your assets against and you can see over here in this case whatever's noted here is what will be supported if you're using the desktop app and just be wary that when you use it to swap from one asset to another there could be a bit of a time frame before the funds actually transfer so be wary of that the wallet also has a bit of a news panel so you can get the latest and greatest of what's going on and market stats so you can see all your coins what what's their prices market cap and things like that so coming back here uh, up here you can actually create multiple new wallets or restore other wallets um, if you have the seed phrases into infinity wallet which is quite cool as well so that's there now the other aspect I wanted to show you okay so I want to add a token to the wallet for example I have gone through the assets and I have purchased some Axie Infinity tokens on Binance Smart Chain and I want to send it to my wallet here but I've tried to look for the token and nothing is coming up so what what can I do well I can add as you can see straight away I can add a custom token so let's click on that and it gives me uh, three chains remember earlier I said this wallet uh, will allow you for these three particular chains so let's pick Binance Smart Chain now the next thing I need is the contract address to uh, add so that it pulls this tokens information so in in case of each whichever tr chain you're adding you would go to its tracker and I'll show you now this website that you can go to and literally look for the token on the tracker and add the token that way and make sure it's verified so that way you're getting it straight from the source and it will then pull in all the information in the wallet so let's take a look at the uh, Binance Smart Tracker uh, site now 
So here we are, you can see I've come to um, bscscan.com and I'm in the token section of the site and um, over here and I've just come through the list of tokens and in this instance I was I was here before so I wanted to add the Axie Infinity token. Now I could search for it or I just had it here a moment ago, there we go. So I will click on this and I know because it's that's why I like coming to the list it's the top 15 I know this is the proper contract and here's the contract address I was talking about so I'll copy it literally has a copy button next to it and now I'll take this back to the wallet and add it so let me go and do that okay so we're at the wallet paste the contract address you can see as soon as I've pasted it it's pulled up the information I can add the token and there you go you have successfully added a custom token now again remember you can do this for ETH or Polygon as well okay but I won't take you through each network it follows the same process you go to the respective um, trackers and pull the token contract and paste it in and you have the asset now you can send it to the address so that's how you add a token, how you use your wallet and the assets that it currently supports to if you need to add anything extra. The final piece of this tutorial that I wanted to take you through, which this is what I thought was kind of cool about this wallet, is it is strategically placed where it's accepting, you know, a Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain and Ethereum because then you can kind of use this wallet and instead of MetaMask or things like that, you could actually just interact with those dApps via this wallet. So I'm going to walk you through an example of how you do that. In the bottom corner over here, and that's why you saw me midway through the tutorial switch my camera, is um, this wallet connect button. So when you click it, it gives you three options. Okay, so what I'm going to do though, um, in before I use this, some dApps will actually allow you, will give you a wallet connect in the dApp and then it may actually load up, ask you a prompt to load up this wallet. So in this case, let's take a look at that. I'll go to PancakeSwap, which is a very common, um, it's kind of like the Uniswap off um, in, on Binance Smart Chain. It's a, a common place to go where you can op swap tokens from different tokens by a stablecoin. Everything in a decentralized manner is what I'm getting at. So let's take a look at that. Great. So here I am at um, PancakeSwap. And the first thing I want to do is connect to my wallet. Now I know in the app I saw a wallet connect, so I'm going to click this. And you can do this. Now you, you saw me play around with this a little bit, it gave me a few options, but I'm going to click on for PancakeSwap, it has a desktop option, so I'm going to explore this. Oh, it's got Infinity Wallet. Okay, great. So let's click on that. And I will hit open. And as soon as I go to open, you can see it's bought up the wallet and it's asking me to approve PancakeSwap Finance, which is I want to do that and as soon as I've approved it see over here you've seen it go green if I click on it straight away this is my address and it is connected so if I go back to PancakeSwap you can see now right away it's gone from connect to it's got my wallet address I'm connected now if I had some BNB in here I could click on trade and I could start trading between different um, tokens. I can move swap some BNB into anything and it would appear in my wallet. Now, if again, remember, if I swap into a token that I have not added as a custom token in my wallet, um, that's fine. It, it's, it will still be there. You just need to go back into um, Infinity, um, into the wallet and add the token, just like I showed you how to do with Axie Infinity. As soon as you add it, it will be there. It's registered to the address. So your, your, uh, your address, which is this for per each chain, that's why this wallet supports these three. They all operate under the same address. It's just um, on their different chain. So um, it will be there and be fine. So don't worry about that. It's just about adding the token into the wallet and then it will pop up. So that's pretty cool how, how you can use this wallet with Wallet Connect and um, interact with some of the DeFi sites, especially if you didn't want to, you know, overburden yourself and set up a few more wallets like MetaMask and things like that. Um, so it, it's a great, uh, great system they've uh, they've put together to uh, 
to make the process seamless. Now, Wallet Connect is not something they have made um, in the Infinity Wallet. It is just an integration they've integrated into the wallet, which makes it uh, very valuable um, and helps it a lot. So that's a little bit about this particular wallet. If you have any questions, please ask them in the comments. Um, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know I was uh, rather quick with this one, but um, if you are struggling or just a lot of it, I've gone through it too fast, I encourage you to work, watch one of the first tutorials I created where I kind of spend a lot of time um, establishing everything in that you terminologies you'll hear and what you need to be aware of with the wallets set up. But I have covered a lot of that in this video a little bit quicker than I normally would. So as always, uh, please make sure you like and um, uh, share the video around, subscribe to the channel as well. It definitely helps when making the content. And if there's anything you want me to focus in on, please let me know in the comments. Thanks everyone for watching and until next time, take care.